But one thing that is uh, hasn't come to an end, and I don't, I'm sure you probably anticipated I would ask a question about James Bond as an Englishman. Um, but not many people can play. Not many people can say they've played a villain in a James Bond movie more than once. In fact, I think you were the very first man to do it. What that must be such a great thing to say and a great part of your career to be to have that in the because I mean Bond is so entrenched in the in the kind of cinematic history, isn't it? And to have played a, this brilliant character on on more than more than one occasion must be such a, a great thing if only just to, to tell the grandkids <laughs> it is it, it is um, yeah you're right and it's uh, it's helped me incredibly uh, into completely different uh, films uh, really strange uh, avant-garde films <laughs> all over the place which you would where I probably never would have uh, appeared had it not been for this, uh, these uh, three Mr. White appearances. I don't know why, uh, I've never understood the logic of product, film production as it, when it comes to actors, because if I agree to go into some film, they tend to think that somehow all this uh, James Bond popularity will rub off on, on our film if we get this guy in here. And some of his audience will come looking for what we are doing, which I'm not sure is right. I haven't told them, but <laughs> I'm not sure that it, that it really works like that. But it, it, they tend to think that, believe that it, it does. And it has taken me places that I, probably never would have gone to. So uh, I have so much to thank uh, the broccoli is for. <laughs> And um, but just just very funny before I do go then. But it was it must because obviously this is you know uh, Daniel Craig is is finishing up his post as Bond. But did you uh, did you have good experiences shooting those movies with with him and, and as a James Bond in the history of the character? How how he, where does he kind of rank? Because he's um he did a pretty good job I think. We're all quite pleased with him over here. <laughs> I think uh, although I think it's very hard to watch now uh, the old Sean Connery uh, films. They were top of the class for me back then but i think they have a me too problem <laughs> now they i think they're close some of them are close to unwatchable for i think for for modern people but i think when i when i, I was uh, uh, i was happy when i heard that Daniel uh, was going to be the new Bond because I had watched his work before and I, th I thought he was a really good actor. And I thought, well, yeah, that's, that's good. Then we'll have a Bond that is not quite so smart, actually quite dumb, <laughs> maybe. And, and that makes sense for, for an action hero that, that they shouldn't be too clever because then you don't believe that they're doing what they're doing. So uh, I thought that was a good idea. And, I've, and I thought that Casino Royale was one of the uh, top, top three, top two uh, Bond movies ever. I thought it was fantastic. When I watched the sort of the first 15 minutes in a cinema, I suddenly heard my own sort of my own voice after like 14, 15 minutes after the first uh, the, the parkour chase, saying, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> like I was 14 again. And, and I was like, this is right. This is how it should be. Yeah. And I, no, I, and I, uh, I, I love being in, in it, and I love being a part of that. I thought, yeah, yes, if you're gonna be in, in an action film, that this is it. This is how it's done. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching. Hey, you guys. Hey, you guys, huh? Hey, you guys. Is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed. Yeah. Nice. Hey, you guys.